All in our time to say thank you, it's 5.50 p.m. Hello! West Alameda! It's after six o'clock! Time to give a shout out! Thank you! To all the frontline, the essential workers, to the doctors, the nurses, the longshoremen, the bus drivers, the truck drivers, the farm workers, those who work in the warehouse, the stores, the restaurants, the hotels, sanitation, postal employees, counselors, teachers, parents. So please, you hear my voice? Did you clap your hands? Honk your horns? Shout! Make some noise! Frontline workers! Thank you! Yeah! Thank you, frontline workers! What's going on, Facebook? Hey, how y'all doing? Dejan, what's up? Okay. We go over here. I said after 6 o'clock. It's not even after 6 o'clock. Ooh, I messed up, y'all. Uh, I don't know why I thought it was after 6 o'clock. My bad. I should go back out there and say, I made a mistake. It's not after 6 o'clock. It's not even 6. It's before 6 o'clock. <clears throat> yeah, well, too late now. Okay, so what's going on, y'all? Um, hey. Hello there, Miss Paulette. <laughs> I know, but I yelled out it's after 6 o'clock, and it is not after 6 o'clock. It's not even close to 6. How can it be after 6 if it's not even 6? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to rush everything. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so today is day 512. Today is August the 25th, 2021. I know that much. That much I can tell you is absolutely right. Okay. Um, and as of today, let me turn this thing around. <clears throat> As of today, August the 25th, we've had 4,480,110 people have died from coronavirus throughout the world. Right here in the United States, 649,653. Yesterday, on August the 24th, it was 4,468,612. Okay. Hey, niece. Pamankin and what's going on? I got my that's my Filipino relatives, the Lopez. <laughs> and uh 648,000 yesterday. And April the 9th, 2020 was 263,000 and uh 16,200 in the United States. So, um you go right here is <clears throat> for prayers and thoughts. I want to ask everybody, as always, to pray for all those who have died throughout the world. And right here in the United States from coronavirus, uh, the victims of the Haiti earthquake, the victims at the, the building in Surfside, Florida that collapsed, um, victims everywhere.
Valhalla Na time to say thank you. It's 5.55 p.m. Okay, so, yeah. Anyway, um, I... I you know, I keep changing up, so that's my new thing to get started on right now. Um, what else I want to talk about? Birthday. Let's do birthday shout out. Today is Sally McCoy Thomas. It's your birthday, Sally. Happy birthday to you. And happy birthday to Jim Green, Ryan Ford, and uh, Michaela, and... Soriano, you're not the only Michaela. There's some other people named Michaela, Michaela. This Michaela went to the school I work at. Okay? So happy birthday. Michaela was also in Cadet Corps. Um, great drummer. Okay, so Michaela, happy birthday to you. Also, Michelle Palin Mendiola is out, is giving a shout out for her husband, William. It's his birthday. Yvette Price is giving a shout out to her mother. For, uh, I believe, you know, for her mother's birthday. And Christine Acedeo is giving a shout out to her Tita Baby. Bibi. Okay, I don't know if I said it right, y'all. Excuse me if I didn't say it right. All right. And <clears throat> y'all see, I'm trying to rush through all this. So please vote no to the Republican recall of Governor Gavin Newsom. That's all I can say. Just, just vote no. Please. That's all. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's vote no. So, you know. Hey, Leslie, what's up? Another one of my niece on here from the PI. What's going on? So vote no. We do not need a Republican. We do not. Uh, the recall is a waste. So just vote no. Vote no. Period. Also, put some pressure on your congressmen and re representatives. Let's pass that John Lewis voting rights bill, which would then supersede anything the, the Confederate states like Georgia, Florida, mm -hmm. Mississippi, and all those other states are trying, in Texas, are trying to do things to suppress um, African American, Latino, and the elderly. They're trying to suppress the votes. Okay, so let's. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Let's pass that John Lewis voting rights bill. Update on the Union Hall. The city of Oakland has promised to start making weekly garbage pickups. There is a backlog regarding, regarding homeless encampments. So that's not going to happen. They're not going to take those away for a while. I don't know how long it's going to be. But the silver lining is they are going to start making garbage pickups. I'm going to drive out there next week and look for myself and, and check and see if they're actually doing anything. I'll get some pictures and I'll report back to you. Okay. Hello, niece. Hey, Kumustaka. Kumustaka Leslie. Okay. So, hey, don't forget, send an email. Make a complaint to homelessness at Oakland ca.gov okay so that we can get that cleared away from the union hall atu members atu 192 call oakland 311 that's that phone number 510-615-5566 make a complaint in regards to conditions outside of our union hall and state assembly you know i i will keep this on here because you know we got to the the election is not till September fourteenth. We vote for Mia Bonta for state assembly. Uh, vote yes for Mia. She's um, Mia Bonta is married to um, Rob Bonta. Rob Bonta is the first Filipino uh, district attorney for the state of California. So yeah, and um, Mia Bonta, you know, her mom, uh, you know, was involved with Puerto Rican uh, civil rights. In the movement back in New York back in the day, so she's good. So you know, vote for Mia Bonta for state assembly. 
Retirees Breakfast Club, y'all. Wednesday, September the 8th, 2021, 9.30 a.m. It's at the Buttercup off of 23rd Avenue exit off of 880. Okay, so that's what's going on. And now I... Oh, so, you know, I got a haircut, right? Y'all like the haircut? Good. So, hmm? Come here. Come. Who, who, got, who cut my hair? Daddy. Hmm? Tell the people. My daddy cut me. What you forgot Uncle Lester's name, girl. Get out of here. <laughs> I am your Uncle Lester. You better know my name. Okay. Hey, Cruz, what's up? Cruz. Paige, how you doing? Good to see you on here. Hey, Cruz, so I have some news that I want to share on Facebook. And I'm glad you're here because I did give you a call, Cruz. But anyway. Hmm. My mother came to the United States after World War II. Um, she was married to African-American soldier by the name of Lester Calvin Dixon. And she came out here and she went to Georgia and everything. Paige, I'm doing good. I, I'm really doing good. So I'm, I just want to share a little personal story with you guys. Um, anyway... My mother had a brother named Heneroso Lopez, and she had a sister by the name of Rosario Lopez. And they had children who would be my cousins. And then the cousins had children which would make, I, what, would that make them my second cousins, my nieces, my nephews? I don't know how that works. But anyway, I never knew any of them. I did not know any of them. Hey, Queenie, how are you? Um, <laughs> all my nieces and nephews coming on here. So I didn't know any of my Filipino relatives. And when my mom and my dad broke up, I didn't know any of my African-American relatives. And when we came to San Francisco, um, I had no uncles, no aunties. No uncles and no aunties on my mother's side because they were in the Philippines. No uncles and aunties um, on my dad's side because they was back in the South. And I guess it was kind of one of those things where because y'all ain't together, whatever, you just, anyway, <clears throat> growing up, growing up, I always wanted to know who my cousins was, I always wanted, wished that I had them, didn't know anything about them, I knew that they were there, uh, maybe about two months ago, I did this interview, which ended up being posted on YouTube, called Barrio Ako. And I talked about my relationship, you know, about my mom as a Filipino war bride coming to the United States, married to an African-American soldier. And the fact that um, her family, her father disowned her, you know, because she married a black man. So, but I had no ill will towards my family in the Philippines. I always wanted to know who they was, never did. A few days ago, Somebody, evidently, they saw my interview on Body All Co. on YouTube, on Facebook, and I got a friend re friend request. My, <laughs> he was like, I'm your nephew. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, we just did a Zoom with... The Dixons here in the United States, all the, all of us that were able to get on the Zoom today, and we're you know we're Afro Filipino Dixons, and we were on the Zoom, and we were on the Zoom with our Filipino relatives, the Lopez family, uh, in the Philippines, and it was awesome. 
It was awesome. You know, when you grow up having cousins and having uncles and aunties and you know who they are, it's all good because these are your people, you know. And, and most of you, most of you growing up have had that knowledge of you have uncles, aunties, and cousins, you know, and, um, <laughs> and you know that, but when you don't have them, like I didn't have them, my brother and my sisters didn't have them, you know, you know, within the black community, we do all that extended family thing and we do the yeah, that's my cousin. You know, you run into somebody by the last name of Dixon, be like, yeah, we we cousins, you know, and we're not cousins by blood or you end up marrying somebody and then they're, you know, and then they're like your in-laws or your cousins or your nieces and nephews. And I take that very personal that if I marry into your family, your your family members are now my family members and your nephews and nieces are now my nephews and nieces and I'm very strong about that but it was always that thing of wondering about family back in the PI back in the islands wondering about my mother's family so we did the zoom and um one of the elders was telling me what they remembered about my mother they called my mother Lola Kunching and um, it, it was priceless. And, you know, when you're on Zoom, you could see everybody that's on there. They, you know, and you're looking and you're like, wow, these are like, I'm related to these people. These people are related to me. And it was good. And even though we had some language um, difficulties because they didn't always speak um they didn't always speak English the way we're used to speaking English over here, cause, you know. Um, and I, and I, yeah. And uh, they can speak English. Don't get it twisted. They can speak English, but it's it's different from the type of English and the type of slang that we speak over here. And we talk really fast. And sometimes they would end up start talking Filipino. And then you know, that's the other thing is that my mom the. Words that I know in Filipino are like Tagalog, but my mother's tribe, we are Basayan, and there's it, like Wadai Wadai, and oh, and I just love listening to them talk, and then they would call me Uncle Lester. They say, Uncle, Uncle, and it was just, you know, I'm used to being Uncle Lester here in Alameda because, you know, at the school, everybody called me Uncle Lester. Here in Alameda, everybody calls me Uncle Lester. Um, uh, I go someplace and people say, Uncle Lester, what's up? What's up? And now I'm on the Zoom and all these Filipinos are my my relatives. I I don't know how that works. You know, uh, are we like cousins? Are they second, third cousins? Or I don't know. I don't know. I'm the first one that I was they reached out to me and I accepted his, his friend request was Mark Lopez and then we talked and and Mark has a lot of brothers and sisters and yeah so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm at a really good point in my life I got me a good woman you know I got, I got me a great woman you understand what I'm saying and she makes me happy and you know, I'm like, I'm hella happy, right? And then I have my children. One of my daughters is getting ready to have a baby. And in fact, she actually did the Zoom <laughs> from the hospital room. Um, you know, my oldest daughter was on there. My baby boy, my second son, and my, my baby brother was on there. My sister was on there. It was, you know... It was so cool. It was so good. Um, I know I'm rambling, but I just really wanted to share my my feelings and, and my my thoughts with you because it's like I I want to live. Hell, everybody want to live a long time, right? You know, I'm what seventy two. I will be seventy three in November. That's my birthday. 
Um, and I would like to live 20 years, but I'll take 10. <laughs> you know? I mean, I'll take as much as God gives me. You know, everything is on God. The Muslims, Islam has this thing of inshallah. It is the will of will of God. So it's the will of God. It's God's will. Whatever God says is what it will be. And I'm I'm okay with that. But I'm just so happy, y'all. You just have no I'm just happy if 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 something happened to me, God forbid, and I don't want it to, but something happened to me and I wasn't gonna be able to be here, at least I know. that I got to watch my children on this side of the water. The, the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren of my mother, Lola Conchin, talking to their cousins on the other side. And I, I love this whole Facebook thing, this whole YouTube thing, this the whole <laughs> Zoom thing where you can get on here and talk to people, and it's great. It's great. So and I apologize. I'm rambling. And my sister Cookie, she's in the hospital. Hey, Jackie, what's up with you? My sister Cookie is in the hospital. Uh, she had surgery, and uh, she's in recovery. So, you know, if y'all could say a little prayer for my sister, that would be nice. Um hoping, you know, the surgery was a success, hoping that she'll be able to, you know, recover quickly and, and go on go on home. So um I um yeah to all my my relatives in the islands in Leyte and Samar and Zambales and outside of Manila, Manami Salamat for coming up there. Alfonso, Alfonso, <laughs> Alfonso is an OG. Y'all know what OG is, but for my my Filipino couple buy-in back there, OG is like uh, original, original gangster or original guy or you know old school. He he's hecka cool. Um, he came out here what, four years ago, and I didn't know him then. And so here's the thing is, last year, me and my siblings were supposed to go to the Philippines. But I didn't know I didn't know any of our people back there. So we were going to go to the Philippines, and we were going to go, <clears throat> you know, we were going to stay in, a big, in, the, in Manila and stay at the big hotel and all that. But my thing was I wanted to go to Dulag Leyte, which is where my mom is from. And I wanted to go there and just see was there some kind of way we could have connected to our relatives. <clears throat> the trip was called off because of COVID. But anyway, like I said, even though I did not make that trip to the Philippines, I made that trip when I met my family. And um, hey, Howard, what up, OG? What up with you, baby? I'm just sitting up here going through uh, some little emotional, you know, thing about how I'm feeling good, bro. Um, so, no, I didn't go to the Philippines, but I went to the Philippines on Zoom when I met my people. And, um, and they were showing love. They were showing love. They was calling me uncle. And they call me uncle in in this with the same respect that I get called uncle over here. Over here, I am uncle to my biological nephews and nieces. I'm uncle to the kids that went to Chipman Middle School here in Alameda. They and they're all grown, and some of their kids and they still call me Uncle Lester. So I'm I'm uncle to all of them. I'm uncle to. Um, the the Dozier the Dozier family and the Lawrence family, um, even though I'm no longer married to uh, Dozier women or, or Lawrence women, their children still call me Uncle Lester. Um, so 
my Filipino family, they just like just took to me and was just calling me Uncle Lester, like like it was natural and it was so it, it was great. All right, y'all. So I don't want to just um, you know belabor it, but I'm really happy. I'm just like at a happy point in my life. Um, you know, um, they taught me a song. I'm, I can't sing it. And it, it's basically saying that, um, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll meet you again tomorrow and goodbye. We'll see you or something like that. But it was a great song, but yeah, I, a, uh, Okay, it's like Bukas namuli tayo Makikita paalam nasayo I can't sing the song But it's, 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 it's great It's great, y'all Anyway, um I'm gonna go because I talk too much And I know this And, uh, it's that time Bukas namuli tayo, makikita pa alam na tayo. See, I did it. I, I have the words written right there, niece. Okay. Uh, I'm so glad we connected. So, so glad we connected. I, I have, I'm feeling, hey, Ramon, what's up? I'm really feeling good. I, um. Where's Ramon? He's on here watching us. Oh. I'm I'm really feeling good. I got you. Okay. Where's he? Where's he? I got you. Okay. Oh. Okay. Nope, I got you. <laughs> so I'm um it was great. Like I said, my my some of my children were able to get on here and I think they liked they liked being able to see their relatives from the Philippines for the first time, to be able to talk to their relatives. This is what, you know, this is what they were able to do. And and it was great. Um, okay. All right, um, I'm gonna go. Kayla, come on, let's get ready to do it. Put it down, come on. Yeah. Bahala na? Bahala na. No, we use the I left fist. We never I, use the right. I keep messing up. Nah, it's reason. okay, you can mess up. But the right is for the Nazis and the Ku Klux Klan. We always use the left. Bahala na? Bahala na. Mabuhay? Mabuhay. Aman la away tu. Aman la away tu. Harambe. Harambe. Ashe. Ashe. Que viva la raza. Come on. Que viva. Que viva. La raza. Uh, Lasta. I don't know how to write it. La raza. What do you mean you don't know? You are. You You. you got raza blood in you. Say mahalo. Mahalo. That's mahalo. Make that mahalo like that. Mahalo. Mahalo. Okay. And what else? Did we say hokahe? Oh, yeah. jayu. Jayu. What well, you got to make that just like Say, Dayu. Uh, I can't say now. Sorry, then. Okay, oh, we got to do this one. Shalom. 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 Um, huh? Namaste. Oh, namaste. 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 Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah means it is the will of God. Okay? Mm -hmm. The will of God. What did all of this say? Oh, this is, yeah, this is, when you get big enough to read, you'll, you'll get it. Okay, let's do this one. Heart, heart, heart. How about heart? Wakanda forever. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. You got to show them. Okay. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. Okay. okay. So yeah. now we're going to go and we're going to go say, we're going to say. Power or peace. Oh, you want to go power or peace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power. Which one? Power. Power. Left fist. Power. power. Peace. peace. And heart. Did I do it right? Yes. 
Okay, good. Thank you. You did a good job. Thank you, You're Michaela. You're okay, y'all. Um, bukas na muli tayo makikita pa alam na sayo. Um, we will meet again. We'll see each other tomorrow. Goodbye to you. Um, and did I say it right? Bukas na muli tayo makikita pa alam na sayo. I like that. I like that. Wait till my daughter gets those words down. She's going to sing it. She's going to sing it to me. Hey, y'all. I love y'all. Stay safe. Stay strong. Wear a mask. Please pray for me and mine. I'm praying for you and yours. Um, I'm, I'm hoping you get vaccinated. And if you choose not to get vaccinated, well, that's your choice. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to force nothing on nobody. I mean, I would like for you to get vaccinated. Uh, but even if you don't get vaccinated, at least wear a mask. At least wear a mask. That's all. Just just wear that mask. I told you about that little cartoon where why the concept of wearing a mask is important. So the way the cartoon goes is two guys are in the picture. Both of them have no pants on. So basically, they're both naked with no pants on. And the one guy pees on the second guy. Okay? So he, he, he ain't got no cut, no protection, so he getting peed on. The next cartoon, the same guy is now peeing on the second guy, except the second guy now is wearing a pair of pants. So therefore... He does have some protection, the second guy, but it's not, you know, he's still getting pissed on. The third cartoon is both of these guys now are wearing pants, and the guy that was doing the peeing, he's still peeing on himself, but it's inside his pants. So that's why, you know, wear a mask, don't pee on me. That's why I wear a mask so I won't pee on you. Hey, y'all, uh, I'm up out of here. Like I said, I'm really happy. Um, everybody take care. Stay safe. Stay strong. Peace.